I feel like I have lived most of my career under a running clock. That clock is the difference between a soul-crushing loss and an unbelievable, thrilling victory. In 2013, I was having a year that most basketball coaches could never imagine. It was unbelievable. And then I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of leukemia. I then wondered if my clock had run out. I immediately began chemo. My friends, family, and players all rallied behind me. And that's the story that people know. But it's not the full story. For patients with acute myeloid leukemia, we call it AML, after chemotherapy, we want to confirm that the disease is in remission. And to do that, we typically perform a bone marrow biopsy where we actually put a rather large, stiff needle into the pelvis bone. When you start actually pulling back on the bone marrow, that's universally painful. I'm about to have my 16th bone marrow biopsy. And you know, right now, that's the only way that doctors can for sure tell that the leukemia has not returned. I'm tough and I can take it. What's been really, really hard is the constant not knowing. When I see patients in clinic, foremost in their mind is, is my leukemia coming back? And at this point, I can't, outside of a bone marrow biopsy, really tell my patients what's going on in the bone marrow. If we had a blood-based test for the detection of extremely low levels of AML, it would dramatically affect how we go about treating leukemia patients. 25 years ago, we had a dream. Can we find these cancer cells in a non-invasive way? It took a long time to understand the complexity, but now we have developed exactly the system to detect circulating tumor cells in blood samples. Biofluidica is changing a difficult procedure into an easy procedure that can be done in a routine doctor's office visit. And early detection means better treatment options. I am one of the fortunate ones. But you know, I went through treatments with a lot of people that weren't as lucky as I was. Now is the time we finally, finally have the technology. Let's get to work, get it done.